What's up guys, Universal Mastery. So what I do on my channel is I break down the occult sciences to a very practical level so that you can use them in your day-to-day -day life and get real actual results. So what we're gonna be talking about in today's video is how to be untouchable, how to be unstoppable when it comes to your challenges, when it comes to your adversaries, when it comes to just anything that you may come across in life that may prevent some form of resistance. How do you just become a person where you are literally untouchable? right? And a, just an overall person that knows how to handle all situations with just a sureness, a knowing that everything's going to work out in your favor. Okay. So if you want to know a little bit more on how to be untouchable, then stay tuned for the rest of this video. The first thing I want to say is definitely make sure you go and check out my Patreon. The Patreon is going to be located at the first link in the description. So you go to the description, you're going to see that first link there. It says my Patreon. You're going to click that in order to gain access to the exclusive videos that I already have on my Patreon that are absolutely essential for practicing the, um, the occult sciences. I have literal broken down videos that are that are geared towards practicing and I have videos that are geared towards knowledgeable entertainment. So in order to gain access to those videos, you have to at least be a tier two or up. As you go up in tiers, there's different benefits. Definitely make sure you check them all out because uh, as you get to the highest tier, there's actually um, there, there, there's, there's a very important benefit that you, that you can receive. And, you know, I'm going to leave that up, to, up for you to go and check out for yourself. So def definitely make sure you go and check that out. So once again, in order to be a tier two, at least it's going to cost $9 and 95 cents a month. And that's going to be a reoccurring payment. But what that really comes out to is less than a dollar a day. If you do the math. Okay. So for the value that's being offered on my Patreon, you should definitely be able to afford that. Okay. Other than that though. Once again, where you're going to find the link for the Patreon is in the description and it's the very first link at the top. Definitely go and check that out. Going right into the video. So this is the thing, okay? This is the thing. When it, when it comes to being untouchable, when it comes to being unstoppable, when you become that beacon of, you could say, light, that beacon that just knows everywhere you go, you just know it's all going to work out for you. You just know it because everything, everything just aligns for you and the, the key, okay, let me go right into this. Let me tell you what the key is here. The key is this. It is not necessarily that you are always going to rise to every single occasion, okay? And this is a fact. There are going to be times where you rise to occasions on a very intense level, right? And what I mean by that is there's going to be times where you're faced by extreme challenge, you're faced by extreme adversary, you, you, there's a lot of chaos in your life and you just rise to that occasion and you just handle it and you always get it and you're on, you're on the dot. You're, you're just boom, 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 boom with this like laser focus energy. Okay. There's times where that happens. Okay. But then there's going to also be times and this is the most important part. There's also going to be times where you don't necessarily have what it takes to necessarily rise to the occasion. Maybe you're not there energetically. Maybe you're, you're feeling tired. Maybe you're just going through some other types of transformation that have been so intense that you can't, you literally just couldn't, even if you tried your hardest to rise to the occasion. So instead, rather than running away from the challenge, rather than running away from the adversaries, rather than running away from the chaos, continue to proceed through it. Continue to just walk through it. You don't need to have your shield. You don't need to have a sword. You don't need to be attacking everything head on and be on point. You just have to be in it because being in the chaos, being in challenges, being around challenges, being around your adversary, when you're at a state of calmness, which is considered presence, that is what presence is. This is the state of mind that you would get when you meditate. So it's like you're, you're around all this chaos and you're in a meditative state. Okay. Now there's bene there's benefits to both. Like the goal is you want to be able to handle your adversaries. The goal is you want to be over, you want to be able to overcome your challenges. But as I said, there will be times, and these are the most important times where you're not there, right? You're not in that type of energy and you're probably going through a very deep form of transformation where 
you're probably experiencing somewhat of an ego death, somewhat of a dissolution of things around you. So in that moment, this is what happens. A lot of people, when they experience that, that level of not feeling like they can overcome challenges and when they experience the level of feeling like they, you know, they, they can't handle all the chaos, they run away from it. Okay, they'll, they'll like, they'll up and run. They will get as far away as they can from it. They'll stay away and their intention in their mind is, oh, I am not ready for that. I don't wanna be around that. This makes me very uncomfortable. I'm not going there, okay? It's a reasonable thought, but that is gonna prevent you from growing, okay? It's a reasonable thought. I understand why people do it, but that is going to prevent you from fully reaching your highest potential, okay? Because even at the lowest lows where your energy is just not there, you're, you're like, let's say you're partially exhausted, but you still choose to show up to whatever it was. You still have this, this challenge that's in front of you that is confronting you. There's something that you need to handle. Maybe it's making a certain type of phone call to some person that has to do with your business. Maybe it's, maybe it's just having a conversation with someone that you, you really have a good relationship with, but you, there's something that you need to tell them about. Instead of walking on eggshells and trying to run from that, instead of trying to avoid it, you recognize even though you're not in your best your, your, your highest potential, even though you, you feel like you may not handle it the way that you fully want to, but you're still going to try your hardest. That is the number one skill that you need to have to be unstoppable. The, the, literally, like there's a quote that says, you, you only lose when you give up, right? And that's true. Consistency, if you keep showing up, there will be days where you feel like shit and you still have to show up. You, but you make the choice if you show up. Not everyone shows up when they feel like shit. And that's most people. Most people don't. They don't show up. There will be days where you feel like shit, but you're, you're, you still have to show up if you want to become unstoppable and you want to be untouchable. As you do that, you root yourself in what it's like to go through extremely tough challenges and situations, extreme pain even, physical, mental, emotional, and still come out victorious, okay? And literally still come out victorious. And then as you do that, and, and when I say come out victorious, I mean you made it. You realize you're, you're, you're still here, right? You're still proceeding forward. You may not, and you may not be that shining light of uh, you may not be that knight in shining armor that you see yourself in your own in your own imagination. You may that you're like your story may get a little bit rearranged of how you see yourself. You may you may have a story of yourself that's like oh yeah I'm always this person that rises to every occasion and you try to maintain that. Well guess what? There the the most successful thing that you that you need to understand is that during those times where your story is being ripped apart, where you're you're not that person that you thought you were, where it's where where you're in extreme challenges and you're surrounded by chaos and you're surrounded by all this just different this different different circumstances different energies that you're not used to but you're still there even though it's let's say it's eating you up even though it's 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 uh it's causing you to like question like what am i doing what's going on the fact is you're still there and you're going through it and once again back to what i was saying as you continuously go through that you continuously show up and don't try to escape, don't try to purposely run away, then there will be times where you you become a different person, okay? And this, this has a lot of connections to do with astrology, this has a lot of connections to do with your own inner spiritual growth. There are times in life when you do the work, this is why spirituality is so important, is because you have to do the work to progress through the work. If you are not doing the work, then you are not going to experience energetic transformation. What an energetic transformation is, is it is a completely different perception of reality. It is new energy that can now flood into your body and literally, like you may have anxiety right now, you may have fear right now, you may have all these things going on right now. If you did spiritual work, you can, you can open yourself up to different energetic pathways within your body that literally cause you to no longer feel those emotions. And this is why the occult is so interesting because it, there's really a science to this, but it's a really in-depth and deep science. Okay, this is like, it's, it's a science to the level where most of the scientists in our society today are not talking about this at all. 
but this is a real thing. You can get, you can literally become a different person tomorrow. You can be a different person 30 days from now, and I mean different in a very, very amazing way. Like everything that you're you're dealing with right in this moment that it seems to be so challenging for you, so rough, tough, and sucks for you, that can change in an instant. I've seen it happen. I've had it happen to myself. I know how real it is. I'm getting chills on the back of my neck speaking about it. And this continues to happen when you when you develop yourself spiritually. Matter of fact, when you enter yourself into a spiritual development, you could say de developmental process, because there is a process to it. This is where the tree of life comes in comes into play. Everyone has their own unique process of spiritual development, but the fact of the matter is that universal process is universal for everybody. And when you enter yourself into that process, when you and, and it can be as simple as an intention that says, I'm ready to I'm ready to change. I'm I'm done of living the same life over and over. I don't wanna I don't want to experience the same shit over and over. I wanna change. I really do and I will do what it takes to do that. You will begin to enter into that process based off that intent. Now there's also rituals that can enter you into that. Right? So rituals are ancient techniques, spiritual techniques that can trigger specific events, spiritually invisible events to different degrees as well. So rituals are uh, rituals are very potent in that manner. Then there's uh, you know, there, there's other ways you you know, it, it, life will enter you into your own spiritual development regardless. That's what you need to know. When you enter that spiritual development, you start to change, right? And th there is once again different degrees to it. Um, but what will definitely happen to some degree for you, there's different degrees to it depending on what you can handle, but what will definitely happen for you is your reality will begin to shift. And what I mean by that is the, your image of who you are and what your life is in the current moment, the problems that you're dealing with will literally begin to change. And I'm not saying it's just going to happen very quickly. It's going to probably take, it's going to take a while. This could take years. Okay. It could, it could be shorter than years. But it depends on who you are and what you're dealing with. But it is a slow but intense process. Slow but intense, meaning that you're going to see very, very profound correspondences in your day-to-day -day life that are, that's going to be like mind-boggling. You're going to be like, whoa, like some of the stuff's going to be hard to handle because you're going to be seeing reflections of who you are in the world around you. And not everyone knows how to handle that. So this is what happens when you go through that spiritual development process. Your energy is going to hit it, hit an all-time low when you go through it because you have to go through darkness. And what is necessarily, what is that? What does that really mean to a lot of people? Darkness can also, you can also say it's experiencing the negative polarity of reality itself, right? You could say it's experiencing the lows of the, the, the balance beam, okay? So we have like the balance beam, this is the positive, this is the lows. Well, when you go through a spiritual development process, you're going to experience the lows because you have to experience the lows in order to get to the highest highs. So the lower that you can go, the higher that you can actually reach. So that's why when you're going through spiritual development, things like meditation are so important because you're not here in the physical plane when you're meditating. You're, you're connecting with your astral body. You're connecting with your higher self, your daemon. You're connecting with your spirit guides because what's going on here in the physical is so chaotic and so overwhelming that you, you literally operate better in the astral. It's like your body separates itself from its your your spirit and your body will literally separate themselves. Okay, it's and this is deep what I'm sharing with you. But once again, taking it back to the moral of this entire video, to be unstoppable, literally and untouchable, you to be truly unstoppable and truly untouchable, you will want to go through this process because that is what's going to form you into that, that person that understands like what it's like to be at the lowest lows, like literally at rock bottom and still, still be there and still show up. Okay. And still, and, and to any, like anything that you do that is working on the muscle of, let's say a situation happens and you're like, Oh man, like most people, like if that situation popped up, they'd be like, no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to take, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to step up to the plate. I don't want anything to do with that. Like, this is not, this is not my repertoire. Like, I don't want to step up to the challenge. Like, this is just not my thing. I'd rather save my energy and I'd rather do this. If you get a challenge that presents itself in that manner and you know, like the, you obviously want to gauge it, right? There are going to be times where you, you're not going to be able to step up to the plate, right? Like you may be a little bit too tired, right? But the more that you can try to step up to the plate, I don't care what, what it is, how tired you are. 
if you can build a muscle, there is a muscle in you. If you can build that muscle to just show up and step up to that challenge and step up to that plate, regardless of how you feel, regardless of the outcome, if you can't even see an outcome for how it's going to end up, just step up to the plate merely based off the fact because it made you a little bit scared at first when you heard about what, what it is that you're, you're going to be challenged with. You're training a muscle in yourself, a spiritual and a physical muscle, right? That is causing you to go into situations that you originally were afraid of. And that's a muscle. And that is a very important muscle to exert willpower that creates your day-to-day -day life. Okay, and that's when you truly become unstoppable, is when you go through that spiritual process, you hit those really low lows, then you get confronted by all of your fears, you get confronted by all your anxieties, all, the, all this dark and negative, dense energy, but you still continue to step up to the plate while you're in that dark time. And there's gonna be different levels to stepping up to the plate, but you do it, you, do, you push yourself to extremes, the extremes that you can handle. And as you do that, you will slowly and surely come out of that state of, you could say, darkness and negative energy, and you will start to experience the positive polarity. And what will happen is it will start to rebalance itself. So you were like, let's say down here at first, the positive is way up here, and then it will start to bring you here again. It will balance itself. So then you'll be experiencing life in a much different way because you had just gone through, you could say hell, you know what I mean? You had just felt what it's like to be at the lowest low and now you're feeling a balance. And it, it's, it feels so, it feels like 10 times better than what you're normally used to because you went through that crazy experience. And while you were in that experience, you learned some extreme knowledge. You gained some extreme gnosis. You gained some extreme understandings. That's the art and that is the, uh, that is one of the most powerful potent things about negative energy and about darkness. There is so much knowledge that you can obtain from going into darkness. It, it, there's literally so much ancient wisdom that is hidden there and it's hard, like you have to go deep to uncover that information. Not everyone, you, you, you're not, you have to earn that information. You have to go there and obtain it, okay? And not everyone can go that deep. So depending on how deep you go, the more knowledge you're gonna have. But when you come back to that balance, you will have that knowledge and that knowledge is going to help form your perception on a day-to-day -day basis. Now that your perception is formed and you have a, you know, a new idea of life and you have a new direction that you're moving in, all align more with who you are as a person and what you came here to do, what you actually want to do here. Once you got have that balance, then you start to actually, this is the positive end, the positive starts to shoot up even more and you start to create a momentum of this positive energy which is going to propel you into a, a very heightened state of willpower, a very heightened state of awareness, and you literally become a person that is just untouchable to the level where you walk in a room, people sense your energy subconsciously, unconsciously. You, you start to affect the mass collective consciousness as a whole just by existing because you have traveled through the, the, the tunnels of darkness and now you're, you're all the way up here and you've got this crazy momentum going for yourself because you understand what life is truly about. You understand these foundational principles that govern everything and you don't get trapped on the little things in life. And you literally become unstoppable. You look at anything that, that would hold you back in the past and you just overcome it. You realize like, I can, I can do anything. That is how you become unstoppable. That's how you become untouchable. So if there's anything that you get out of this video, the key is, and I have other videos that will help guide you on this process, but you want to enter yourself into some form of spiritual development. Once again, I'll say it again. The way to do that is by, you can do it simply by an intention of wanting to be your best self and wanting to develop yourself. However that is for you, you have, this is what's gonna make it work. This is what's gonna actually enter you into that process. And the fact that you're on my channel is a good sign because I have a very spiritually, you could say, driven channel. So there's a lot of spirits, there's a lot of invisible things that are happening behind this screen right now that are going to influence you, okay? Just to throw that out there. But that simple intention of, I want to actually change and the seriousness to really do what it takes to, to make that change happen. So if that means that there's something negative in your life that you need to let go of, if that, that, that means you have maybe a, an attachment that you need to let go of, there's certain things that you're doing right now that you know you shouldn't be doing anymore, that means putting an end to those things. If you're serious about developing yourself and experiencing this unstoppableness, this literally untouchableness, then you have to take that shit seriously. 
as you take that shit seriously, I want you to understand you're being guided. You're literally being guided by invisible forces. And half, you know, part of that is your own guidance, like as within, as without, right? There's forces around you guiding you and they also exist within you. So they're going to literally cause specific situations in your life to manifest that are going to cause you to evolve and experience different different states of awareness and different, you're, you're gonna experience different uh, floods of energy through your body. It, it's going to happen naturally, but it will only happen if you're actually serious about this transformation that you, that, that, that you essentially need to go through at some point in some lifetime, okay? So that's the moral of the story. That little intention can can start an entire process of growth. And trust me, it's it's not an easy process. Remember, you will hit darks. You will lose a sense of yourself. You will lose a sense of your ego, who you think yourself to be, but you're not gonna lose it permanently. It's gonna be tough, but you will rise out of it eventually. And you will see, you will then be able to look down and understand everything from a completely, from an eagle's eye perspective rather than being a shell at the very bottom of the ocean. You were trapped in a shell at first, an empty shell, and now you're the eagle, the phoenix, looking down on everything, risen in flames. And your energy is just a lot more expansive. Your, your willpower is just right there, okay? So I've been doing this, and that, like I've, I've gone to some really lows, like really extreme depths in my own spiritual development. That's why I, I naturally have a really fiery energy. And it's not just because of my, you know, my astrological makeup. Yes, there's a little bit, there's a little bit of correlations to why I have fiery energy in that sense too. But I do the work, right? Like I do work. I go really, really deep, deeper than what most people can even think about, like could even think about fathoming, right? Like to a level where most people would probably go insane and give up. I've, I've died to myself many times before and I'm not doing it like, and I've died to myself like not, not knowing what was going on. So that was, t that was tough. As I started studying spirituality, as I started studying the occult, I started to learn about the symbolism behind what's actually taking place. That's where a lot of clarity came to my life and I'm very thankful for that. Um, so that's pretty much the clarity that I'm trying to give to you guys right now. Um, but yes, you, you do come out of it and your energy is completely transformed forever and it continues to build on itself. It literally, this momentum continues to grow and you just, it, it's just such an amazing feeling and it is such an amazing process and I really want you to be able to experience it. So that was one way, that was pretty much the main moral of the story. That's the, that's the main way I want most of you to enter yourself into this developmental process. I think if you were watching this video and you've already gotten this far, you're already doing a good job, okay? Because you, you obviously have somewhat of an intention and a want and a desire to, to learn and to grow. The next way, as I said, to enter yourself into a form of spiritual development, this is something I want you to direct, directly message me for. Do it on my Instagram, uh, DM me about it. There are ritual practices that you can perform that literally directly enter you into a spiritual developmental system. The reason why, I'm not gonna go into depth on exactly like how to do that ritual, um, and I, I actually, I am going to end up making a video on exactly how to do that ritual and the importance of it and the significance of it on my Patreon, but I'm not going to put it out to the public because I think it's definitely, it's definitely not meant for the public. It's, it's more so it's meant to be shared about, talked about scientifically understood in the public, but to actually be practiced is not for everyone. I don't want like some like younger kid or some, someone that's immature to just think that, oh, look, you know, I want all this spiritual power. I want to develop myself. Let me read off, you know, let me perform this ritual and then see if this shit's even real. Because the fact of the matter is this shit is real. And when you undergo this process, it is tough. Okay. That's why I'm telling you the way of intention, because if you're truly, if your intentions are in the right area, you will, you will guide yourself through that process The and, and you, you'll pretty much, you'll, you will have earned it. Now, if you go and do a uh, a ritual and you enter yourself into this process and you're not ready for it and you didn't necessarily earn it you don't have your stripes it may it may rip you apart like you may lose yourself and not know how to get back out because you're confused and you're like what is this like i thought this was a joke at first but it's really real like what's going on with my you get what i'm saying you don't want to enter that level of confusion and that level of psychosis so if you have questions about how to perform certain rituals that are going to enter you into this process directly, then direct message me and I will guide you in the right area. I specifically use the clip off, which is the shadow tree of life. That's intense as fuck. I do not recommend that for the, the beginner whatsoever. 
I got into it from a perspective of I didn't really know what I was getting myself into. I did this two years ago and I'm still going through it now. Um, but I, I'm, I'm naturally a warrior. I naturally pull through things. I've, tra- I've changed so much for the better by going through that process. Like I can't even explain to you and it's real. Like when I did that, when I initiated myself into it and I performed the rituals, I'm telling you, I had tangible, real spiritual experiences to the level where you think it's like some movie shit, some Harry Potter shit. Okay. Real experiences. It's real. (laughs) So once again, that's another way that you can enter it. And if you are that wolf, right? If you are the wolf out of the sheep here and you want to pursue that path, definitely DM me and I'll guide you in the right direction. Okay. Um, But other than that, guys, I definitely think this offered value. Moral of the story, you go through a spiritual process. Consistency is key. Always show up. Always try to strengthen your muscle for going into fearful, challenging situations and, and, and just being with them. You don't necessarily have to rise, once again, to the occasion, overcome them with this fierceness. You just got to be with them. As long as you see something you're afraid of and you're, you brings anxiety to you, but you show up and you confront it and you're just like, hey, are you really what I think you are? Is this really something I'm, is, that is worth making me feel so filled with anxiety for? Is it worth it? Just show up and that will that will start to form you into that unstoppable, untouchable person. Okay, it's a muscle. Consistency is key. Keep showing up and let yourself go through the process. Okay, you will rise. Have fucking faith. You will fucking rise. Okay, other than that, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. Definitely please hit that thumbs up button. Hit the like button right there. Um, and then go over there and hit the subscribe button. Should be like down there. Hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell because I'm posting videos as often as I can. Definitely make sure you go and check out the Patreon. The link for that is going to be the first link in the description. And then special shout out to the top tier members in the Patreon. Their names are going to be mentioned right below that link. Um, And then you can go to the second link below. That's going to take you to the Streamlabs merch where you can get your own Hecate sigil shirt. They will, if you place your order, they will literally ship it right to your door. Then go to the third link below. Um, and that's going to take you to the Facebook community. You're going to go there. You're going to see a pin post that says private group, click that pin post, request to join the private group, and I will add you in. And then that's it. Okay. So this is wrapping up the video. I will see you guys on the next video. Have a wonderful, 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 amazing rest of the day or night, wherever you are. Peace.